2000s were definitely an interesting scene for movie tie-in games. While we did get a lot of gems such as the Harry Potter games, we also got a lot of crap. And I mean, a lot. I'm looking at you, Home Alone, on the PS2. However, what if you had a licensed movie tie-in game that wasn't a licensed movie tie-in game? For today, we'll be looking at Sea Dogs 2, otherwise known as Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Oh my god, Jack Sparrow, oh my god, Will Turner, oh my god, Elizabeth, oh my god, Johnny Depp, controversy! But no, this game has actually little to nothing to do with the movie series by Disney. The reason I called it Sea Dogs 2 was because, well, that's what it was supposed to be. The game stood to life as a sequel to the 2000s open-world pirate game, Sea Dogs. However, halfway through production, Disney got a hold of development, and you know Disney just loves to add their IPs to stuff, and decided to rename the game to Pirates of the Caribbean to try and draw in sales, which... I mean, it isn't a terrible strategy, but it's definitely a questionable one. In the game, the player does encounter the Black Pearl at one point, but that's pretty much it to the extent of the Disney content that I'm aware of. The actual content of the game is very similar to the Sea Dogs game that came before it. It's basically just an open world pirate game with a small story. But the question is, how exactly does this game fare up to modern standards? Is it even worth checking out anymore? Well, let's find out. My name is Nightfight3, and welcome to the Abandoned Warehouse. Oh wait, this is actually the first episode, I probably should explain how this works. So basically, the video is broken down into three sections. Getting the game on modern computers, playing the game, which is basically my typical video style, and lastly, a review. So as for getting this game running on modern Windows, I didn't have to do too much. It was a simple two-disc install setup. The game's config menu though, for some reason, isn't located in the game, but instead is located in the game directory, and that's where the player can adjust audio and graphics, all of which are definitely not modern resolutions, but personally, I'm not too picky. The only issue that I did run into that definitely affects gameplay is slow menus because of FPS issues, which sounds like an easy driver fix, but for some reason when I tried using NVIDIA, it didn't really help me. I ended up solving it with Bandicam of all things, which basically just caps the frames at 120, so yeah, as far as installations go, definitely not the worst. Anyway, now that the game is installed and it isn't crashing my computer, let's give it a try, shall we? Alright, here we are in the game. As you can see, definitely a 2000s game. I mean, just look at the layout of this title screen. You have the ominous music in the background. You have the color of everything. You have the window size. And yeah, let's get straight into this. And here's our protagonist, who definitely is very relatable because it's just kind of staring off into space like I do. Oh my god, that eye governor. Greetings, Captain. I'm your boat, Swain Malcolm. Yes, I know. Yesterday, you asked me to remind you of some things that you planned for today. Okay, so this puts kind of like a little tutorial that I did do, but I just want to showcase this because the controls in this game are really absurd. So it sounds simple. Get your blade, pistol, spyglass. They say where it is. But when you actually go to move, for some reason, it's a left click to actually move forward, which is definitely interesting. And F3 to pick things up. You'd think it would be like Spacebar or something, but no, apparently it's F3. Okay, I should probably just take everything because I don't think I'll be back here and... Oh, I already have the... What the hell? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, and by the way, to actually equip it, you have to do F2 and then Inventory. So, yeah. Oh, so I can actually see what these things are. A Sapphire, a Clear Blue Stone, perfect... Why do I have this? A small per... Okay, so I think this is kind of like stirring random stuff because when I did the tutorial before, like I mentioned, I didn't actually get these things. I have my short pistol, and my cheap spyglass, because the, the game's just letting you know how bad it is. And yeah, I think I should be good to go. What do you have for me now, Governor? Hi, yes, he said it again. Great, by the way, sir, I could teach you a bit about swordplay if you'd like. Just ask me. You know what? Let's do this. Wait, why isn't it... Oh, I actually have to move down. Okay. Where are we going? Oh, like right here. Now, sir. Draw your sword with the draw seath sword key. Look, seriously, why do they make a tutorial when they say, use the draw sword key? Like, you should at least say what the default control is so everyone would know that it's the default control. And use the action key to attack in the fire pistol key. What the hell? Okay, let's do this. So I think it's with the power of E? Yes, and for some reason I can't just click with my sword out, I actually have to press spacebar. And yeah. Got you. Yeah. Why is this guy not really- I'm literally stabbing him with a sword, like... Does this, does this guy just not feel pain? This time it's actually a duel. Let's do this. Yeah. Also, control is block. 
And oh my god, I forgot about click not actually being a way to attack. Okay, so block and hit. Okay, that seems like kind of an effective way to fight him. I can also just spam space bro, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, it also seems to be working. Even though my health is really bad at the moment. Now, I remind you about that business we planned for today. What are we doing? First, we should deliver a load of chocolate and weather to Ox Bay. Now, we should sell it to a local trader. If needed, I'll guide you to the store later. Also, our ship took some damage in the last storm. It needs to be... Why don't you guys do that? You're the crew. Next, we need to hire some new crew members to replace those who are... Oh. <laughs> Talk to your local tavern keeper about hiring more crew. Is that all? Almost. Your spyglass... Yes, we know it is a cheap spyglass. It should be available for sale somewhere in town. Okay, great. Very descriptive. And here we are in the port, which honestly looks kind of cool. Oh my god, dude, let me do something. Fine, let's do this. Okay, I'll follow you in just a second. I was just admiring the scenery. I might fire this guy. This guy has done nothing but just kind of boss me around. And for a second, I thought he was about to walk into that barrel. Like, wait up, dude. I mean, you could be going a little faster, but that's alright. Is this the market guy right here? I think so. Ta yep. Okay, let's do this. I'm very good with social interactions. Oh my god, that hello. Okay, what? let's see what you have. Okay, so... What can I sell? I can sell my pearl. Wait, what? Okay, he just bought it, so now I can buy it back. But I'm not gonna do that. So that one... Oh, and he has things for sale. Okay. Oh, and we can get a proper... Okay, I'll definitely be back here. Now that we did that, what next? Come on, you have to tell me. Hey, where's the spike glass? Ca oh, I have to go buy it. God, di this guy just won't let me do what I want. He's gonna overthrow me. Oh, oh my god, of course you found me. Look, seriously, this guy's like my babysitter or something. You know what? Let's just not need his help anymore. I can understand that, and thanks for your help. Cool. Now I can actually go find things by myself, even though I have no idea where to look. But that's part of the experience. What do we have to do? Oh. Wait, is this locked? Yeah, it is. You know what? Let's just keep knocking on it. Maybe someone will open the door. Open the door! Sipyard. Okay, finally, I found where to go. Like, seriously, I definitely shouldn't have sent my one crew member who was actually doing stuff away. Is this where I can fix my sip? Oh, well. We can patch it right up. Okay, yeah, they definitely can. Okay, let's get started on that repair. Okay, can I just, like, repair it? Repair all... What is it gonna... How much money? Oh! Oh, that just took all my money. Okay, that was definitely... Okay, quest book... Where's my quest book? Can I view... Okay, I can. Okay, so I've yet to sell my chocolate and weather to a local trader and hire some crew at a... Okay, I guess I still have some things to do. You know what? I can do that. I just have to find it real quick. Okay, finally, I found it. Now, where can I hire some new crew? Do I just talk to people? An officer, what can you do? Okay, how much do you ask? I think we can agree on... Isn't that too much for you? Oh, wait, he just limited it? Wait. Can he, can he lower it again if I say anything? Oh, and he can't... Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave. I have to find someone who actually wants to do stuff for, like, free. Because I'm not going to pay these crew. Look, I don't care how mad they get. This is my sip. It's my rules. Oh, and... You look like an exper... What is this guy saying? Hey, lad, you want to shoot some dice? You know what, sir? I am a very smart captain. I like my crew's money. So I'm going to spend it all. Let's do this. Okay, let's do it. I bet 100 gold pieces. I'll back that up. 14... Okay, that's pretty bad. Come on, please hire. Oh, what? You know what? Double or nothing. Nine. Come on, win. A draw. You know what? Go again. Yes, I won. And you know what? Do it again. Eight. Come on. Thirteen. Yes. I've made a profit. Should I go again? You know what? Let's do it. Nine. Come on, please. You know what? Go again. Ten. Seventeen. <laughs> yes, I have a gambling addiction. Go again. Nine. Come on. You know what? Let's just back out now. How much money did I win from that entire thing? Let's find out. Is it under SIP? Okay, I think I won $200. That's pretty good. Welcome, welcome, sir. You'll find everything your heart desires. Okay, if I don't have it. Thanks for the warm welcome. I need to hire some... 
Sea dogs. Yes, of course. Let's do it. The question is, how many people should we hire? Hmm. Okay. I don't want to spend all my money. So let's hire, like... Let's do five. And cool. Did that update my quest book? Wait, why didn't it update? I, I literally just hired people. You know what? Fine. I'll just go sell the chocolate. Maybe that'll update. Oh my god, sir. You are right. Your hair appears to be phasing through your body. Okay. I'd like to sell my Kurgo. I think I just select my sip. Okay, now I can sell stuff. So they said leather, so I can sell that. And where's my chocolate? Is it the other side? And wait, should I sell all of her clothes? <laughs> you know what? I won't do that. I'll actually be a good captain. I already bet all the money, so... Yeah, at least I can do this right. And cool, quest book updated. For some reason, it updates when I sell stuff, but not when I buy people, which... I don't know. I think that's a pretty good reason to update your quest book. Wait, what's out here? Is this something I haven't seen before? Yeah, the outskirts. Oh, this is kind of... Wait, who are those people? Are they friendly? You know what, I'm just going to save before I interact with them in case they just murder me. Hello, good sirs. My name is Nathaniel Hawk. It is very nice to meet you. What do you do? Oh, 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 dear God. Run, run, run. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't want to get mugged. Oh, wait, should I fight or should I run? You know what? Oh, hey, oh, pay the toll. Uh... What is this nonsense? Uh, I won't show them my goat how to fight. Oh, yeah. Okay, here they come. Uh, I'm prepared for this. Oh. Oh, uh. E. Oh, I'm dead. Just like that. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I saved. Ah, yes, and there I lie. And oh my god, they even have death CGs. Like, dying, I didn't expect this game to have that. Hello, sir. So I just got murdered by a bunch of people. Okay, yeah, he has nothing to say. Oh, whoa, do we have another cutscene? Port Oxbay was a typical Caribbean English colony. Oh, was it now? Bustling, prosperous, and peaceful. I don't know if I'd say peaceful. I kind of just got murdered. Oh. Until a squadron appeared like ghosts from the fog. A squadron under French colors. I don't think that's ghosts from a fog. French I think I can kind of see them. In less than a half hour, Port Oxbay was in French hands. Was the army really that bad? Well, I mean, the soldiers didn't do anything when I got killed, so... Oh my god. <laughs> I love these old 2000s movie cutscenes. Like, they just look nothing like the actual game. But they're also kind of cool in a way. A single sloop escaped to carry the news to the English governor on Redmond Island. Okay, thank you for telling me not only where to go, but telling me that I survived. Let's do this. And now we're at the sea. But wait, how do we move? Is it click? Wait, is it... Why is it WASD now? What the hell? And I have to get to Redmond. The question is... Oh my god, no. I don't want to cross into other sips. I think I just want to, like, perk anyway. No, 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 no. Okay, then. But where do I go? Like, where's the town? Okay, now I'm in this mode, but... W where is everybody? I thought there was, like, a port here. Should I just sail around? And wait, how do I move? WASD isn't working anymore. Oh god. I figured out the controls. For some reason, it's using the mouse camera to actually, like, turn and stuff, which is weird. So, like, when I do this, I sail away. But, I mean, it's still better than clicking. But honestly, these graphics are nice. Like, look, like, look at this water. This is, like, Minecraft Seder level water. Which I know isn't really a high standard, but still, I think that's pretty good. I'm definitely lost. Is there anything I can do to, like, figure out where I am? Maybe enter? Okay, cool. Can I, like, sail to the port? Oh, yes, I can. You know what? Sail to the port. Cool, that actually worked out. I was a little nervous for a second, but no, I I found my way to Redmond Port. And that's to be my victory for today. Now, is there any way to actually, like, poke the sip? Because I don't know how to do that. 
I mean, there's an anchor button, so I'm hoping I can, but... Would it just be more fun to just cross it into the entire town? <laughs> oh my god, oh my, I'm gonna cross. Ah! Okay, I think... Did I anchor it? Okay, good, I did anchor it. I was a little nervous there. Now, where is this mayor? Because I kind of have to complain to him. I'm basically like a Karen. Alright, so I'm at the manager's office. Now can I complain about the fence? Oh, and wait, who are you? Wait, why'd you say bonjour? Okay, that was... What? what? He just... Okay, then at least now I can talk to this guy. Robert Sileherd. Okay, then. Introduce yourself, if you please. I don't believe I'm acquainted with you. My name is Nathaniel Hawk, and I am the captain of the Victory. Well, Captain Nathaniel, I can see by your face you have something to tell me. I'm sorry to report that the settlement in Ox Bay has been attacked. Hmm, this news is unsettling. Is that all you have to say about this? But how can there be pirates in these waters? The squad... No, like, there wasn't pirates. There were French troops. What? I knew it. His honor crew should have given a warning shot a long time ago. Perhaps tell me... No, I don't want to tell you everything. Are you sure that these... Why am I helping this guy? I thought I was like a pirate myself. This is terrible, terrible. French soldiers holding English sword... No, this isn't terrible at all. I'm a... Wait, what? I don't like to say... I'd better... What, what do you mean? You see, Captain, after the campaign... Okay, D&D campaign against the pirates, the only two worst... What kind of army are you? And these are too valuable to spare on such a venture. In light of this, I hereby issue the... Wait, what do you mean? I'm sorry, Captain, but your sip will not be... No, you, you're not just going to take my sip. If you resist, they'll have to conf... Okay, I can't just... You know what, fine. I, just, I guess I'll just submit. I mean, it's easier. And what do you mean? As a new face in these waters, my hope is that you may be the key to securing more information about the French forces. From the neighboring colony on the island, you can cross through the jungle and penetrate the walls of the city, and they'll discover... Okay, so you basically want me to spy because they don't know who I am. Perhaps you'd even be able to eavesdrop on the French troops themselves. You want me to sneak... Yeah, why do you want me to do this? Yes, a bold point. Why are you making me... Like, I, I literally just met you. <laughs> I understand. Oh, the best of you. Okay, apparently I'm helping him. If there's anything left... Yeah, no, I'm just... Okay, quest book. What do I have to do? Riconair captured... No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Do I do that, or do I just go off and do my own thing? You know what, let's just go do my own thing. So I've just arrived at the outskirts because I do kind of want to try and go on a little adventure of my own. But there's a person right there, and I don't know if he's going to be friendly or not. What was the button to take out my pistol again? According to the instructions booklet, I just have to press E and then Q and it should fire. But first I actually have to know if he's friendly or not. Is he just going to like, charge me or... Oh! Oh! And fire! Oh, oh, oh my god, there's more of them. Whoa. Okay, then. Oh my god, I can't keep blocking all day. Now go. Okay, this is bad. Can I back up? Okay. Oh, oh, yes, I actually got one. Oh my god. Now attack. Come on. Oh, come on. He's gonna kill me. Come on, get him. Block. Get. Oh, oh my god, this is intense. Oh, I actually got him! Oh my god, I did it! I didn't die! Oh no, there's two of them. And I don't really have a lot of health left. Can I do anything about this? Oh, wait, wait just a moment. Use item. Yes! Okay. You know what, I have a plan. If I can take one out before the other arrives, I should be good to go. So let's do this. Yeah! Okay, and then just finish him off real quick. Okay. Oh, whoa. No, wait, that didn't kill him? Oh, no. I am so screwed. Crap. Oh, no. 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 Is the healing potion still in effect by any chance? Can I heal? Oh, yes, I can heal. Okay. So I'm still blocking, yet I'm healing. Stab. Okay, that's one. Go again. Is that enough? Okay, obviously. Oh, I actually got him. Oh my, I am on fire. You know what? I feel good about myself. I did good today.
I did good. And you know what? I think that's a pretty good place to end the gameplay on. Now it is time to move on to the review section. Alright, thank you for that transition, me. Now it is time for the final part of this video, the verdict. So let's do with the graphics. The visuals are pretty good, but nothing really too special. The scenery is really good and stands out, specifically the ocean in the jungle, which I really enjoyed. But the models definitely haven't aged well. I mean, they aren't terrible for 2003, but those dialogue boxes are... Yeah, they're really cursed. As for the audio of the game, the tracks go really well with it. They aren't really anything special like the graphics, but it really helps bring out the pirate feel of the game. Next up is the gameplay, which is both simplistic and complicated at the exact same time. You basically just explore and get money, and there are a number of ways to do this. You can sell and buy goods to trade between islands, or you could be really daring and explore the jungle, or you could be really, really daring and try and take other ships. Having multiple options for players really does help the game feel more welcoming, especially if you like me and really hate the sailing controls, and kind of just want to explore the jungle. Obviously, there's also the story of Fort Oxbay being taken over, but it is an open world game like Breath of the Wild, so you can really just ignore it if you don't want to. I didn't really get to see it that much, so I'm not really going to judge, but it seemed like a fine story. One thing that was kind of rough, though, was the combat. Well, at least at first. Maybe it's just because I used the default controls, but I found it really challenging, and also really stressful. If not in a one-on-one -on -one or with a group, you can easily find yourself outnumbered. And that is pretty much the extent of stuff in this game. As I said before, a very simple concept with complexity. And with that, it is time for the score. Dang, I feel like IGN right now. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean is a good, but flawed, open-world pirate game. While there are certainly more polished versions of the concept out there, like Sea of Thieves, I definitely think it is worth it to revisit this older game and learn the roots of modern open-world pirate games. Overall, an 8 out of 10. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really proud of this video, because I've been wanting to do this for a while, and was very pleased with how it came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.